something that I've long needed to, or long time wanted to, long time, something that I've long wanted to upgrade in my studio is a good headphone system. Not that just plugging your headphones into the interface isn't great, but some more flexibility from the perspective of the player is nice. Also less responsibility from the engineer or producer, whoever's running the computer at the time. If you just send it out to something and then the player gets to deal with how much or how little they want and you can just focus on what you're doing. That's what I'm gonna be setting up today. So, so, so I'm doing a session with my son Jack right now and it's a lot of fun and this is a perfect example of something that would be very, very useful. It is the headset phone system from Behringer. It is the P16 system. Are you excited? Yes. Ah, so I pulled up a song for you to record. Yeah. You wanna record some drums? I look like a person that has glasses. Oh, because it keeps putting the eye focus on you? The eye tracker? Yes. All right, let's, let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is really cool. This is actually a bundle you can get on Sweetwater that has pretty much everything you need. First thing it comes with is this uh, P16 16 channel digital ultranet distributor. So this is basically, you could think of this as like a like an ethernet switch, right? So this is like a hub or a mult. It takes one signal, then it gives you the same signal across a bunch of different outlets. Then we have this. Now this was not in the bundle. This is something you had to get separately. I think it was like 250 bucks, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so this is the central hub for the whole system. And then you send that to each individual mixer. And this is great because this actually has 16 channels, which is arguably overkill. And each individual person can set their own mix, which is, if you've worked in a commercial studio, this is very common but it's maybe less common in home studios because maybe you're not doing sessions like this or this kind of work. But if you are, or if you just don't want to deal with like the headphone and getting up and oh, I just need to come up a little bit more or this and that, it's just one less piece of friction to have to deal with throughout the day. So I'm going to set this up. We're going to connect it to my patch bay. So I have, three, four mixers. The pack actually comes with these little trays, which are really cool. You can actually clamp them to the mic stand and then mount the mixer to it so it holds it right next to whoever, you know, wherever the person is. Then I also ordered a snake. By the way, this Jumpers company actually makes really great snakes. So it's a DB25 to quarter inch. So I will be going line level out or line level in to this system. Hey, look at these, these are all great. Yeah, these are all great. Neutrik connectors, the DB25 connectors are really nice in this as well. Yeah, I'll be taking this to my patch bay and this to the back of the headphone brain. I'm gonna call it the brain. And that will be my input or my send to the headphone system, which I can choose if you have a console, you can send it from your console aux or q sends to that or if you're using an interface you can take your line level outs and send it to that if you're using a patch bay or if you're doing adat that's also like you don't have to get a cable uh, and you have the adat outputs you can do it that way as well System. So those are the clamps that hold the mixers and they actually connect to microphone stands. You want to show them the mixer? This is the Behringer P16 mixer. Yeah, this is a great angle. Yeah. 
Here, can you hand it to me so I can hold it in front of the camera? All right, so this is what the individual mixer looks like for everyone who has one. As you can see, we have 16 channels here, and, and for each channel you select, you actually have some settings you can adjust. You have the equalizer, you have your limiter. Uh, this is on the, looks like it's on the general output, and you can group things. This so if you have multiple tracks, you can group them together, which is cool. And this is the button that turns off and on. Oh yeah. And there, what's that called? That's right, that's power. the power supply. Yes. What are these? Ethernet cables. And that is how we connect each mixer to the distribution system. Or the brain. We're gonna call it the brain. And, like this, it. and this other one. All right, and then this is the brain of the system. This is the PowerPlay 16 input module. So this is our inputs coming from our interface or wherever we're sending it. In my case, it'll be the patch bay. And if we flip it around on the back, and then on the back, you can see we have our ADAT inputs for 16 channels, if you wanna go ADAT in. And then we have analog line level in with quarter inch TRS balance or unbalanced inputs. Very cool. Here, I'll hold, I'll take that one because it's kinda of sharp. This is the last thing included in the bundle. This is essentially an extra distribution box. So if your system is in a different room than the mixers, you can put this out in the room with the mixers. And I believe you can even daisy chain them. What do you say, should we set this up? Six screws, little screws through, and there's the middle one, and then and there's something else under this. One of these. Oh yeah, that's the plate. And then we put it, and this is where the middle one goes. Yep, the mic stand. Mic stand. Yes. Yep. And then you got the uh, headphone mixer on there. And it's being held up by the stand. Yes. With no clamp or no uh, like microphone stand clamp. This is the mounting it directly to the stand way, which is equally as cool. Actually, maybe more cool. Kind of a uh, you know, if you have the extra stands, then you can do it like this. But yeah, that's a good spot to the side here. Is this the volume? That sure is. Yep, we gotta plug it in though, remember? Yeah. The Ethernet. Headphones are up and rocking. All right, so I'll give you the quick walkthrough here. We've got the brain set up here. I have three feeds. One feed goes to my table that I'm sitting at right here. One goes over to the chairs and then the other goes over to the drums. Actually, the other goes over here to the distro box and then goes to the drums. Kind of don't need the distro box right now. Um, or I guess in this space, how it's set up currently, uh, just because I'm all in one room and everything's close. But I'll tell you what, this is nice. I got it set up, I did a test, ran some signal out and um, have my kick on one, snare, and then my three and four linked together, which is the rest of my drum kit. And it sounds really good. I had to fidget with the, the signal level being sent, and um, but I got it good, and it's sounding, sounding great. So you can actually set your output or input sensitivity for each individual signal. 
So let's say you're coming from, you know, a combination of different places. You can actually control what the input sensitivity is right on the front, which is really nice. And then when you play signal back, each channel lights up. It has a little LED at the top. And then over here, you can see there are three LEDs lit up. That is how many mixers are connected. Fun fact, if you're coming straight from the distro head or the other distribution box, then the first mixer in the chain is just its power over ethernet. So you don't need the power supply, which is cool. But if you're daisy chaining them, then you will need a power supply. But yeah, day one, we'll see how it goes long term. And um, I think there's some features in here that I'll figure out as far as like storing settings. I wanna say there's even like a way to mirror mixes, but I could be wrong on that, don't hold me to it. Let me know if you know any gems about this system down in the comments. I will put links to everything down below and I am excited to put these to work.